So this is actually a very powerful story, subhanAllah. It's one that truly, you know, I think relates to many young people today in particular that are struggling with, with zina, the zina of the eyes, you know, the fornication of the eyes, the fornication of the hands, and unfortunately sometimes, you know, full fornication, full adultery. And this is narrated by Imam bin Kathir rahimahullah ta'ala and also Muhammad Siddiq al Shawi in the stories of Umar al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. And it's about a young man. And this young man, you know, shabun fi ahd al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam, a young man in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was, you know, well known for constantly attending the masjid. So this isn't the highway robber, this is someone that always used to go to the masjid. So that he could hear the hadith being recited from the, the mouths of the sahaba. May Allah be pleased with them. And you know, in particular, Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, you know, saw this young man as one with great potential. So Umar radiallahu anhu takes this young man as a student. And you know, this young man was always seen following Umar bin Khattab radiallahu uh, he had an old father that, you know, he used to constantly go home and serve every single night. His mother had passed away, so it was just him and his father. And uh, every night when he left the masjid, as he was on his way to his father, there was a beautiful young lady that used to constantly call him to commit adultery. And subhanAllah, he would always ignore her. He would head to his father's house and he didn't pay attention to her. And then one day, you know, and, and that's how it works with shaitan, right? He catches you in a vulnerable moment. One day as he was walking and she started to tempt him as she always did, uh, he actually followed her. And subhanAllah, as he went behind her, just as he was about to enter into the house behind her. He remembered the ayah in Surah Al-A'raf, verse 201. تَذَكَّرَ قَوْلَ اللَّهِ He remembered these words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا إِذَا مَسَّهُمْ طَائِفٌ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ تَذَكَّرُوا فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبُصِرُونَ That indeed those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they're touched by an impulse of shaytan, you know, shaytan gets them, you know, just quickly. They're, they're touched by a whisper of shaytan, an impulse of shaytan. تَذَكَّرُوا You know, as soon as that happens, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's a moment of heedlessness, and then right away they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they snap out of it. Suddenly they can see clearly. So it's like, it's a moment of vulnerability. Shaytan gets you on an impulse. He gets you into a moment of heedlessness to do something you're going to regret. And then, you know, that taqwa kicks in and you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He remembered this ayah from Surah Al-A'raf. And as soon as he remembered this ayah from Surah Al-A'raf, عليه, you know, he collapsed completely in front of this young lady's house. And this, you know, subhanAllah, this young lady actually picked him up. And she dropped him in front of his father's house. And his father, you know, brought him inside the house and they thought that he might die. And his father, you know, read Quran on him. And this young man woke up and he feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much. And he felt so bad for what he'd done that he started to share this story with his father. His father said, what happened? What caused you to, to fall into this? So he started to tell him what happened. And then as he was starting to tell him what happened, and he was saying that, you know, I remembered an ayah from the Quran. His father said, what was that ayah that you remember? And as he started to recite that ayah again, he passed out again, but this time he didn't wake up. So subhanAllah, he actually passed away. And Umar al-Khattab was called to the house and he came and he was very grieved. And they took him and they actually prayed janazah on him that night. And subhanAllah, this is where a miracle happens. As Umar anhu buried him and he cried and they prayed on him, Umar ibn al-Khattab said, Ya fata, wa liman khafa maqam rabbihi jannatan. He said, O oh, young man, and he recited the 46th ayah of Surah Al-Rahman, whoever fears the standing before his Lord will have two gardens, two jannahs. And when Umar anhu said that, the young man actually responded from his grave. And that's why Ibn Kathir has this section, Shabun Yatahaddath min Qabrihi, a young man who spoke from his grave. The young man actually responded to Umar anhu and said, Ya Umar, qad ma rabbi fil jannati marratain. Allah has given me these gardens in Jannah twice, meaning Allah has given me even double what you assume of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me. And what this shows you is that, you know, again, the ayah in Surah Al-Araf, yes, the shaitan will catch you sometimes where you don't expect, but if you have that consistent relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll eventually overcome that impulse. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most forgiving and most merciful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward that taqwa. We ask Allah to grant us that same consciousness and that taqwa that we meet him while he's pleased with us and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to overcome the whispers of shaitan and the corruption of ourselves. Allahumma ameen.